now available for pre-order on Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Pre-order your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace on Kindle today. One of my viewers wanted me to make a video elaborating on how fatherless homes have an impact on the family. Now, he had seen many of my videos where I had talked about how the impact of fatherless homes had an impact on boys, and he wanted me to do a video talking about how fatherless homes had a major impact on girls. Now, I have gone in depth on how fatherless homes have had a major impact on boys in many of my videos and live streams and in my book, The Man Crisis. Now, in The Man Crisis, I detail how these fatherless homes turn boys into beta males who only submit to female authority figures and do not know how to navigate the world around them. Now, in my upcoming 2022 book, The Woman Crisis, I'm going to be going in depth on how your fatherless homes have an impact on girls and how it makes it where these girls just do not know how to navigate the world or how to have a relationship with a man under God's natural order. Now, one of the big problems of a girl who grows up inside of a fatherless home is the fact that she does not learn how to submit to male authority. Now, in order for a healthy family to function under God's natural order, the people in that family need to understand the order God has established. Now, the Most High established an order in order for the earth to be running functionally, and that order is this. God, the creator of the universe, Jesus Christ, his son who reigns over the earth, man who God made the steward over the earth, and woman who is supposed to be his help, meet, and support, and the children. Now, in this order, the man is established as the steward over the earth, and he is accountable to Jesus Christ, his son, the ruler of the earth, and God, the creator of the universe. So, he is accountable to them as stewards for the work on the earth, and he is also responsible for caring for the family. And when you don't have the father inside the place in God's order, what happens is the females who are in charge as helpmeets don't become helpful because they do not understand their role to work with men. And that is the first problem that your girls in fatherless homes have when they grow up. They, do, they learn how to submit to female authority figures, and instead of them learning how to respect a man, they learn how to disrespect men because their first teacher is teaching them hatred of men. And as they learn this hatred of men, what they don't understand they're learning is that they're actually learning to hate God's natural orders because God established the man to be the head of the household and he made the man to be the steward over the earth. And in order for his order to work functionally, the woman has to submit to the authority of the man and the, have the, the children under the authority of the father. So you cannot really have a daughter who learns how to function if she does not learn the concept of male authority at an early age, because if she does not learn this concept of male authority, then she will not really know how to function in the world. Because the father is the first man your daughter will ever experience and if she does not understand how to respect him as god's steward and god's head then she will never be able to respect any man out here because she will think that all men are inferior to her and this is the frame of thinking many feminist minded women have they do not see a man as a, somebody they need to respect as God's steward, and they also do not see God as somebody they need to respect and follow as well. So you have a female who is learning from her mother not to acknowledge God's authority or acknowledge God as the Lord, because as the Lord, he established this order, 
And if you are following God, then you are to be following the standards he established, but you'll have many misled by the black pastor to believe that they're perfectly fine as single mothers. Now, in addition to not learning how to submit to male authority or work with male authority, your girls who grow up in your fatherless homes, they oftentimes do not learn how to work effectively with men. Now, inside of the home where their father is, he is modeling behavior for healthy relationships. When a girl sees the first man in her life showing love to her mother, that teaches her that she is lovable and that she is somebody who can receive the same kind of love. So when a girl is in a home with a father, a father is out there showing her a model for a healthy relationship when he goes out here and cares and loves his wife. And that teaches her what to look for in a man when she gets young, older. And when she gets older, she can see a model of who she wants to get, should get involved with, and who she should have a relationship with. Your, most of your girls who grow up in single parent households, they oftentimes see a series of boyfriends and uncles and men coming in and out of the home. And that leads to her thinking that you can have multiple relationships with multiple men. And that is what your daughters learn inside of a single parent home. And that's why your daughters don't really learn about how to look for a husband. Instead, they look for a man. And I go in depth in this in my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, because a lot of the black females who grew up during the age of the feminist movement, they learned to have a man and not a husband because they were taken out of God's order. Now, a girl who grows up in a single parent home, she is taken out of God's order. And instead of her looking for a husband to be a wife to, she is looking for a boyfriend. She is looking for a man. She is looking for some guy who will they will have a casual relationship with, but it will not end in a marriage under God. That is another thing that girls learn in fatherless homes. They never learn how to have a marriage and they never learn how to be a part of a God-centered family. No, they learn about boyfriends and dating and because they see their 40 and 50 year old mother dating, but they never learn about the concept of marriage and being married to a man and having a family together. Now, your girls who also grow up in single parent households, they also learn a lot of other dysfunctional life skills in addition to not learning how to submit to male authority and just being somebody who was out here looking for a man. They also do not know how to treat a man with respect because when the first teacher in their life, their mother is always constantly talking about no good men, men are losers, men are dogs. What the girl is learning is not to respect a man's authority and not to respect a man as a person. So you have a girl out here who is constantly hearing no good man, men are dogs, men are losers and never seeing a man show her mother genuine love. So instead of her learning how to see a man as somebody who is capable of receiving love and deserving of respect, instead she learns to see a man as a tool she can use to get from one station in life to the next. And that's what many girls learn in these households where there are so-called uncles, boyfriends and men, they learn all about the concept of hypergamy. And that concept teaches them not to see a man as somebody they should have a relationship with and marry, but one guy they can use to get from one station in life to the next. So they go on monkey branching from man to man, looking for this perfect man to be with, but they cannot find a husband because they are too busy looking for a man who will give them everything that Madison Avenue and Hollywood said they're supposed to get, 
and not looking for a steward under God's order who will trust in God to provide for both of them. So there's a whole different frame of thinking that a girl gets inside of a single mother household. And that frame of thinking, it just messes up that girl's ability to know how to navigate the world. So instead of her learning how to work to become a helpmeet to a man, she learns how to hate a man, learns how to disrespect a man, and learns how to never respect a man's authority unless one, he is white, or two, he is some sort of corporate boss. Those are the only two male authority figures that your women in single parent homes usually learn how to respect and will go out of their way to acquiesce and defer to. Any other man they express contempt to because they see those men as beneath them, but any but a man who is a corporate boss or a white man, they will go out of their way to acquiesce and defer to because they see those men as having power like the God that they were supposed to serve because this man is controlling resources and many of these women don't understand the God is the one providing you with resources and you're supposed to look to him and not make this man into any sort of God because in the Bible it, tru it states that thou shall have no other gods before me in the Old Testament and in the New Testament Jesus told us to love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, your strength, and your spirit. And your women who grew up in single parent homes, they don't learn how to really love, the, yield to the Lord and love him the way they're supposed to because they're learning to go outside of his order and trying to reconcile a worldly order with godly principles, but you cannot serve um, mammon and serve the Lord. That's, that's one of the mistakes many of your women from your single parent households have a issue with because they go out here wanting to submit to these corporate bosses and these white men and want to get his mammon but they don't want to go out here and trust the living God. Now there are also turmoil in many of these single parent households for girls because there is no father there. Now the father's role is not just to be a leader and an authority figure inside of the home that shows a girl a model of manhood and a, sh and a model of male leadership and a model of male love, but he is also has to go out here and nurture his daughters. Now, a father's job is to give his daughters love and that love he gives his daughters, this helps the girl develop emotional security. Now, as someone who has experienced girls with fathers, I can tell you there's a major difference between a girl who has a father in her life and a girl who does not have a father in her life. And that major difference is emotional security because that girl knows that that man is there, that man is showing her love, and that love is giving her the boost in self-esteem and the boost in self-confidence to feel secure in herself. Now, that security that she has in herself, that teaches her to love who she is, and instead of her going out here looking for love from other men, she is getting that love from her father. So, when you have a girl who has a father in her life, that girl has emotional security, and that emotional security is the thing that makes it where she's not at 12 years old looking for some boyfriend. No, she's focused on her grades and she's focused on the goal of doing well in school. That's what a girl with a father in her life is focused on. Meanwhile, a girl who grows up in a single mother household, she is looking for love and she's looking for love because one, the father is not there to nurture her and two, the mother sees the daughter as competition. Now, in your single parent households, because there is no man to give the wife her emotional needs, meet her emotional needs, and show her that she is loved, she winds up becoming insecure. 
And this insecurity has her looking to go out into the dating world and look, sees her teenage daughters as competition. And because she sees her daughters as competition, what she wants to do is bully her daughters, harass her daughters, intimidate her daughters, and threaten her daughters. And she is very hostile to her daughters because she has to go out into a dating world where she knows that they have an advantage because they have youth and beauty. Now, a woman who is married does not have to go out into the dating world and compete for the attention of men because she is already being provided for by God's steward, her husband. And that's why you will see a mother, she will go out here and not be phased when her daughter is out here dating and will out, go actively go out here to counsel her daughter and provide her with advice in order to how to navigate social situations. But the woman who is has no husband and is a single mother, she is looking to sabotage her daughters because she wants to eliminate competition in the dating market and she wants to eliminate those young women and she sees her daughter as one of those young women and that's why she wants to sabotage her either by telling giving her daughter bad advice telling her to get involved with low-grade men or telling her to go out here and do things like get pregnant because she is in a mind of com competition with her daughter and she wants to eliminate her competition that's what happens when there is no man to to give the mother her nurture her emotional needs and there is nobody there to, to secure her emotionally because women are emotional and they need to get their emotional needs met and when there is no husband to meet her emotional needs she's out here looking to compete against her daughters uh, to try to secure one of those males out here because there is no head of household to go out here and give me her emotional needs. And this is something many people don't really see about relationships between women and their daughters and not, not understanding the impact a father has on his daughters. Now, a father also teaches a daughter how to navigate the world of dating and relationships and he does that when she's out here by providing her with that not only that emotional security but he also gives her masculine energy now the masculine energy again that's something she gets to in a nurturing process and that again blosters her emotional security so that when she goes out into the dating market and the dating world she has somebody to give her an example of manhood and she also has somebody to come to to know how to navigate things because when there is a father in the home he is going to have standards for his daughter and one of the standards he's going to have is he's going to insist that any boy who is interested in her has to come to meet him now going to meet the father is something that is a shows a man's character because a man who is transparent will have no problem going to meet that father and going to talk to him face to face so that father as and by making that request is providing the daughter protection providing her security and he is vetting these men by just being there when the father is there many of the guys who are no good like the cads like the players like the whoremongers many of those men stay away because they know that if the father is there they have to get past him and if they can't get past him they know that they're not going to be able to get involved with that daughter so a father when he's there the first thing he's going to ask is I need to see this guy, I need to talk to this guy, I need to sit down with this guy, and if this man has character, he's going to respect that man's authority because he understands that if he wants to receive respect as a man, he needs to show this man respect, and he needs to go to that man and talk to him face to face. It's like what I put 
in my novel Spinsteroa, where the quiet man and Matilda's father meet, where the father asks, tells Matilda, I want to meet the guy, and she tries to sneak him out of the house, and he says, no, I'm not going to do that, because he understands that if I lo love this woman, I need to respect this man, and I need to respect his home and the authority of his home. And I need to go meet with this man because that is what a man of character does. He goes to meet with the father because that's how things are done. Because if you want respect as a man, you have to show respect to another man. And again, that man who does this, he truly cares about the daughter in many cases because he does not want to see her done wrong. And he wants to meet with the father to let her know that the daughter will be secure and taken care of. And that's, again, all respect. And that's what happens in a home with a father. Whereas in a home with a single mom, any guy can just show up. And because the woman just wants to get rid of the daughter because she wants to eliminate competition, she will just let her daughter go out here with any old guy and never vet any of these men to see if they meet any standards. A man of character, again, he's going to have standards for his daughter because he does not want his daughter to end up with a bad partner who will put her on the road to becoming a single mother or put her on the road to being one of these women who is up for the streets, who gets turned out and used because when he loves his daughter, he wants to protect her and he wants her to be with a man who will provide her the same level of protection that he would go out here and show himself. So when you have a f child who comes from a fatherless home, they don't get a lot of things that your um, boys and your girls get when they have a father in their life. And when a girl doesn't have a father, she, is not think she does not get all of the proper life skills she needs to learn how to be a helpmeet. No, instead of her learning how to be a helpmeet, to a man, she learns how to be a worker in corporate America, because that's what happens to many women today who have been indoctrinated into feminism. Instead of them learning how to be help meets to men as wives, they have learned how to become workers in corporate America. And this has led to why so many women have wound up becoming spiritually unsatisfied because they are not doing God's role. No, they are doing the role of the state. And many of the women who grew up in the single mother households, they are put on a road to working on a state-sponsored role and not on a role in God's order. So that's another reason why you girls who grow up in single mother households have it so hard because instead of them preparing to be a wife, they prepare to be a worker and that worker, all that worker does is work in corporate America. Yes, she'll get a bunch of degrees. Yes, she'll get a big job. Yes, she'll make lots of money in some cases, or little money. And what will happen to her is that she will, while she'll get all this financial success, she won't get much emotional or spiritual satisfaction. And the reason why she won't get emotional and spiritual satisfaction is because she is outside the order of God, and she's trying to have the mammon and serve the master of the white man and not looking at the most high living God. Because it's like Jesus said, no man can serve two masters. You will either love one and hate the other. And when your girl grows up in a single mother household, she learns to love a master that does not love her. And she learns to hate the most high living God who loves her the most and truly cares for her but she doesn't learn about that true love from the black pastor who just omits a lot of things because he wants to make money at the expense of the woman. But in the, but the whole thing is that God is there for her. And if she takes his gift of salvation and starts to learn about God's order, she can live a more abundant life under God than she would in man's system. And that's what many girls don't get because they don't have a father in their life who is under the Most High and wants to be a steward of God. They don't have a man there to teach them of the things that they need to navigate and survive in the world. And because there is no man there to provide her with that structure of a family, 
that structure of authority and that order that she needs and give her that emotional security and that masculine energy to have self-confidence, this girl winds up falling into the cracks and she winds up being believing that she is less than and she's always looking for love and emotional satisfaction in places where they never will be any sort of love or emotional satisfaction like the corporate world where it's just all about making money it is not about meeting your emotional needs it's just about meeting economic needs but there are so many girls out here looking to get their emotional needs met from an economic system and many of those women wind up deeply disappointed and dissatisfied with life all because they were miseducated through to the feminist system and again this is why so many girls wind up becoming lost because they're looking to be empowered by man by material successes but what they're looking for is spiritual satisfaction and that again only comes from the most high and submitting to the most high but many don't want to submit because they still want the mammon not understanding that god has greater abundant blessings for them so your girls they when they grow up again in fatherless homes they grow up without their biological fathers and they also grow up without their father the most high living god who wants to give them the very best and bless them with more than what they should would have in the world and the only way to get that again is to reconcile things as related to God and that's why we have so many women in crisis because they don't know that there is a greater life out here with Christ they're sitting up here thinking if I get all this success I'll find happiness but there is no real joy without the most high living God now I hope this elaborates more on the subjects of the impact of your girls and fatherless homes for the viewer that requested this video and if you want to you want to learn more about this subject I'll be going more in depth in it in my book the woman crisis in 2022 now until then you can learn more about why so many boys are a complete mess these days in my book the man crisis which is available on amazon.com right now and if you want to request a video from me and i know something about the subject you can donate to my cash app like the viewer did for this video or you can donate to the paypal and if i know something about the subject i will make that video for you so i want to thank the viewer for requesting this video and that's all i have to say for this video if you want to leave a comment you can do so you can rate the video or you can subscribe to the channel now available for the first time in paperback why 70 percent of black women are single learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband why 70 percent of black women are single get your copy of why 70 percent of black women are single on amazon.com today